dramatic victory? Darn those reporters! Why did they have to play it up so big? Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I'm going to practice really hard today. See you later, Mom. Be careful, darling. I will! She's practically glowed ever since they won that game. Did you forget something, dear? Oh, Mr. Keeter. I know you're not open this early, but I wanted to tell my old teammate about his daughter's first victory. Your old teammate? Are you saying that you knew my husband? Ms. Himuro, why is your daughter... It seems she's disposing of some things she doesn't need anymore. And you're fine with this? How I feel about it doesn't matter. I may be her mother, but in the end it's her decision. And yet I remember how much she treasured those tennis rackets. We're both prone to dramatic statements. And speaking of which, is the car ready? Yes, it is, ma'am. That's it. Now there's no turning back. wrong, mister? Mm, the wind blew it up there. Oh, I see. Your hat. Yes, and I'm afraid I can't climb that high at my age. But perhaps I can shake it down. Wait, sir. Please don't shake the tree. Huh? Look. Over there. Oh, a bird's nest. But then how am I going to get my hat down from there? I know. Let me handle this. Oh? Oh. Oh? Oh! Oh! Thank you so much, young lady. How can I repay you? Oh, don't worry about it. Bye! Oh my gosh, I'm late! Hmm. Hey! How's it going, Gramps? Oh, Hiroki! I see you met Tofu. Eh? You know her? I'll have you know Miss Tofu's the girl I intend to marry someday. Oh! She might not look it in that cute schoolgirl's uniform, but she's an ace pitcher who even beat me once. Did she? You're certainly my grandson. You have excellent taste. Good morning. Uh, oh, hello, Yo. And how are you this morning? You're sure up early. I thought I'd be the first one here. Uh-huh. I'm preparing a very special snack. For the afternoon break, I'm baking apple pie a la with lots of cinnamon. Hmm. Morning. Uh, Azumi? What? Is there some reason I shouldn't be here right now? Huh? Did you forget that I joined the team? Or did you think that the whole thing was just a stupid whim? Oh no! It's just that your, your hair... You cut your hair, Izumi! Oh my! Well, of course. It was much too long to wear comfortably under a baseball cap. Oh, but Izumi, your old hairstyle was so gorgeous! However, I have to say that your new hairstyle is very wonderful too! Uh-huh. So where's my new locker going to be? Oh, it's right over this way. I've got it all ready for you. So, this girls' team of yours managed to beat a junior high team, is that correct? That's right. Which I believe proves my point that our team is good enough to compete with the male players. Now, about the proposal I submitted yesterday. Are you referring to your petition to allow the Kisaragi Girls' School to participate in the National High School Tournament? Yes. Actually, we already discussed that matter before you got here and unanimously decided to refuse your request. We have a duty as the Board of Trustees for the National Association for High School Baseball. And your proposal would turn our hallowed traditions into cheap entertainment. Cheap 
entertainment. Promoting women's status is all very well, but please do it someplace else. <laughs> exactly. Just as you found a way to use your talents in the manly business world, I'm sure these girls of yours have many other talents and skills. The point is that these girls have talents that you're not allowing them to use. We don't care if the girls play or not, just not against the boys. It's not as if you didn't already have the Kizaragi boys team to send a Koshi in. Yes, that's right. And this year you even have a genius batter like Hiroki Takasugi on your side. It's the Kisaragi girls' school that I want acknowledged. Is that such a hard thing to understand? Enough! How many times do I have to say no before you give up, woman? I'm supposed to introduce her, but I think you all already know Azumi Himuro. As of this morning, she'll be playing third base. We'll be counting on you! Naturally. Someone's sure full of herself. All right, then let's start practice, shall we? Hold on. I just wanted to say that I'm very confident about my batting skills. Uh -huh. Oh, she is confident. However, I've no experience at fielding. Therefore, I would like to ask you to work with me individually. Huh. Well, why not? Just don't expect any special treatment. You can stonewall all you want, gentlemen. However, I'm not leaving this room until you take my request seriously. That matter is closed, Himaro. Oh dear, have I walked in on a tense situation? You... you're Chairman Takasugi. The CEO of the Takasugi Group? Oh, they're one of the League's biggest sponsors. Normally we would be glad to see you, sir, but we're in a meeting. Hmm, and as a special advisor to this board, I'd like to sit in on this meeting. Well, of course you could, but it's actually already over. It is not over. <laughs> no! You gotta lower your center of gravity and catch with your whole body. Uh. This isn't tennis, princess. You gotta put your whole body in front of the ball. Uh. Don't back up. Step into it. Uh. Just hang in there, Azumi. <sighs> Remember that! Oh. You can't expect a grounder all the time! Again! Uh. Uh. Come on, jump at the ball! You can't flinch, princess! I think that I understand, and I'm sure that there must be a solution to this problem. However, perhaps you should first clarify why this board is discriminating against women. It is this board's position that girls are not physically capable of competing on an equal basis with boys. And what if I can prove that girls can compete equally with boys without it becoming cheap entertainment? Oh, that's preposterous. Are you seriously proposing to prove that girls can compete equally with boys? If I can, will this board agree to let my team participate? Well, of course, but only if it's proof we can accept not playing against a junior high team. Now, if your girls were to beat a veteran Koshien team... <laughs> <laughs> you mean someone like Rinkai High? Huh? Are you saying that if we can beat Rinkai High, you'll let us vie for Koshien? Are you serious? The Rinkai High team is one of the Koshian regulars! And if our team can defeat them in a game, it would prove that girls can compete equally with boys, isn't that correct? Well, well yes, but... Didn't you just say you'd let my team play if I could prove it? Uh, yes, and I heard that as well. It appears you're afraid her team will prove you wrong. <sighs> All right. If you win against Rinkai High, we will amend the rules regarding the participation of girls. Again! Well, that one hurt. A princess may be a stuck-up little society snob, but at least she's got guts. Yeah, and even if she is a pain in the tuchus, how many of us would give up everything she had in tennis to start over from scratch like she did? And speaking of scratching, this makes me itch to practice. Come on, who wants to toss some horse hide? Snake, 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 snake. Hey, where are you going, Yoko? Oh, oh I'm not feeling very well. It's uh, that time of the month. You're on... Um, that's right, so I'm going to lie down. Hey, get back here! It's not her fault if she's not feeling well, Sarah. She's just playing hooky! The little snake's not that good of an actress. 
there's no way I'll practice like that. What would I ever do if my precious face was to get hurt? <sighs> now, let's see. What'll be my next audition? Hmm. So they're casting a TV commercial for toupees, huh? I don't know, sir. Do you think you should have made that promise to Miss Himuro? Oh, they don't have a 1% chance of winning anyway. You see, I don't think Rinkai High is going to accept their challenge. Well, at least we now have a 1% chance of succeeding. Your persistence won again, Keiko. And thanks to your help as well, Mr. Takasugi. It was quite unexpected. Oh, I was just repaying a debt for my hat. For your hat? <laughs> Not to mention a chance of keeping that board in line. And the thought of a girl playing a Koshian! <laughs> what a truly delightful thought indeed! Say what? what? Mm, not so loud, darn it. Oh, my head. So now we've got to play another game to get into the league? Against Rinkai High School? You've got to be kidding! Rinkai's got an incredible program that sends a team to Koshin almost every single season! Yeah, over a hundred players strong. Rinkai's an all-boys school that recruits promising athletes from all over Japan. What? But there's no way we could beat a team like that, is there? Look, girls. I just heard about it and it makes no sense to me either. But there's no way we can afford to lose. But it's crazy, coach! Yeah, it's not gonna be a walk in the park like those junior high kids were. Man, this one will be tough. They've got both size and experience on us. Then there's no way we can be ready in a week, is there? Then we should stop worrying and start practicing instead. <sighs> Izumi? Some of us don't like to lose, Hayakawa. And given the choice, I'll always focus on a 1% chance of winning rather than a 99% chance of losing. And on that subject, I think it's time this team eliminated some of the other things that have been holding us back. Well, thank you so much, Your Royal Highness. What did that mean? She meant me. I think Izumi feels like my catching's holding the team back. Izumi doesn't like anybody, Mal. Still, I have to agree with her that we need to focus on winning instead of whining. That's right! So we'd better get practicing. Come on now! Right. Let's do it. They're refusing to play us? That's right, ma'am. To quote from this rather rude letter that we just received from the chairman of Rinkai's board, After 42 long years of baseball excellence, this school will not lower its standards. Asking our team to play against mere girls is an insult to Rinkai's history and tradition. And yet we've come so far. So what do we do now, ma'am? What we do is call the media. Yes, ma'am. It's risky, but it's a chance. Well, what brings you here to Rinkai High, Mr. President? Oh, I just thought I'd drop by and see what happened with that little matter. Well, actually, I sent Kisaragi a letter refusing their challenge yesterday. Hmm. It was so ridiculous. Why would a school with Rinkai High's record stoop to playing with girls? I'll bet Ms. Emero must be jumping up and down about now! <laughs> Excuse me. What is it? I think you better look at this, sir. They've been broadcasting it all morning. And so the story is that this magic ball is the real reason that Rinkai High is afraid to play against the Kisaragi girls team? What did she say? That's right. From what we've learned, the Kisaragi Girls School challenged Rinkai High to a game to gain admittance to the National High School Baseball Association's National Tournament. However, it appears that Rinkai High is attempting to duck out of the challenge. So do we have any confirmation from Rinkai that this Kisaragi pitcher's magic ball is the real reason they're dodging Kisaragi's challenge? Not yet, but if it is true, it is absolutely pitiful. For a Koshien regular to be afraid of accepting We're afraid of them because of some ball? This is preposterous! Uh, how should we respond, sir? The office is being flooded with calls protesting our refusal. The parents are demanding that we accept the challenge fair and square. Damn! Damn that woman! I know she planted that story! But what should we do? If we don't accept drink, I will be disgraced! <laughs> I thought you should know that the Rinkai Board of Directors just called and accepted our baseball team's challenge. Did they? 
Well, you pulled it off. Of course, what this means is... That now Rinkai has no choice but to attempt to humiliate us. But at least we have an official game now. Man, you really beat all, lady. That's the idea. Now it's up to you to beat Rinkai. I can't believe your girls' baseball team is actually going to play a game against Rinkai High. Yeah, of course, I'm sure you guys are going to do great. I hope so. But still... <laughs> I'm sorry, yo! I just suck today! Hey, what's wrong? Is something troubling you? No, it's nothing really. Hey, there she is! You're Yo Hayakawa, the Kisaragi ace pitcher, right? I guess so. Great! Can you tell us about this magic ball of yours? My what? That amazing magic ball you throw, you know! What kind of ball is it? Can you tell us? I don't understand. Hey, don't play dumb with us. Yeah, we'll get the facts one way or another. Now, wait a second! Just who are you guys anyway? And who are you? Are you her boyfriend? Am I her what? Yeah, of course not! She and I are just really good friends. In that case, you're interrupting our interview. Get out of our way. Uh, now then, Miss Hayakawa, why don't you tell us everything? They're shameless, what aren't they? Talking about Takasuki. Hmm. I figured it wouldn't be long before the press developed a taste for tofu. Takasugi? Hey, you're Hiroki Takasugi. So you know anything about this magic ball, Takasugi? What's the real story? Good question. However, I can't speak. My only comment is that I have no comment. Don't no, say that. Come on. The press. Hello there, Play Tofu. Thing. What's going on? What is this magic ball? Miss Himuro! Yes, Miss Hayakawa? Why did you tell everyone that I could throw some kind of magic ball? It couldn't be helped. It was the only way to make Rinkai accept our challenge. But do you realize how that makes me look? It's not true, and it'll only make the other team more angry when they realize it. Why would you say such an outrageous thing? I didn't just make it up, yo. Huh? The magic ball really did exist. What's that mean? What's bugging our ace pitcher now? Huh? Is it that magic ball thing? <sighs> Your mother told me that this special pitch really used to exist, but I've never heard of it, so I don't understand why she said I could throw it. Well, my mother wouldn't lie, so it's possible she was referring to something your father used to do. My dad? What's that mean? <laughs> my mother told me your father was a professional baseball player when she knew him. He was what? Are you sure? I have no idea, but I bet the coach can tell you. But... Don't worry. We'll practice without you, all right? My dad played professional baseball? <sighs> Ready for another bottle yet, coach? Nope. I've had my limit. And if I did, that daughter of yours would school the daylights out of me in the morning. <laughs> Does my headstrong offspring at least listen to you when you're coaching her? Well, there's not much that I can teach her, really. That girl's a diamond in the rough, and I'm just trying to bring out her natural shine. <laughs> I hate to talk in cliches, but she's one in a million, just like her father. Uh, it's hard to believe it's been ten years since Hidehiko passed away, hasn't it? Yes, sometimes. <sighs> Well, he certainly was lucky to have found a woman like you. Especially after that terrible incident, and what happened afterward. Incident? What incident? He was so worn out and exhausted afterwards. What incident, Mom? Yo. I want to know what happened to Dad! I thought you were sleeping. Uh, so uh, how was your practice today, dear? Don't change the subject, Mother! Yo, please. And is it true that you used to know my father? That's right. In high school. He was my best friend. And my teammate. I 
don't believe this! How could you have known something so important about my past and never have told me anything? No particular reason. The two of us hadn't seen each other in years when he died. Oh, so I suppose you don't know he played professional baseball either! How do you know that? How? Is there a reason I shouldn't? It's like you two are hiding something! I want to know more about Dad! What kind of professional baseball player was he? What kind of incident was he involved in? Please, tell me something, Mom! Hey, good evening! We've got a party of three, okay? Oh, welcome, gentlemen. Please take any table you like. <laughs> See, I told you they wouldn't be closed this early. <laughs> hey, can we get a round of beer to start with while we make up our minds? Yes, sir. Three beers coming up. What happened? What happened to my father? Why won't anyone tell me? The coach has me doing some pretty strange training. He says it'll help me with this magic ball thing, but I'm not so sure. Meanwhile, Mao is in a real slump and things have come to a head when Izumi challenges Mao to catch my fastballs or leave the team. Things get really tense and ugly in the next episode of Princess Nine, 100 Pitches. Hey, Tofu! Why are you sitting in the dirt making mud pies? Oh, shut up! Just leave me alone!